while people were working out inside their gym, police say Nicole Padilla would watch from the parking lot looking for people hiding their purses and wallets in their car before walking inside. It is a sad state of affairs. Unfortunately, it's the world we live in. People have to be more aware. Court documents show that since July, Padilla stole from 10 people who were working out at five different gyms. APD detectives had been following her and at one point documents say they caught her in the act. She has been charged with 165 felonies. We consider our clubs uh, the third place for our members. You know, they've got home, they've got work, and then they've got High Point. Rich Novelli manages High Point Sports and Wellness, where five of the break-ins happened. To in any way, shape, or form uh, make that a little bit less uh, safe for our, our members is very troubling to us. Jenny Stevens Garcia thought she was doing the right thing when she hid her wallet underneath the seat of her car so she could work out at the Northeast Side Gym. They tell you not to take valuables into the gym for that reason because people steal things out of your locker even though there's locks on the locker. Um, so unless, you know, it's kind of hard to, to know what to do. Moments later, court documents show that Padilla broke Garcia's car window, stole her wallet, and made off with $500 in cash and her credit cards. Shelly Leggett, KOET Action 7 News.